Our next guest founded another Microsoft-backed AI startup, and he expects innovation and regulation to accelerate in the new year. Joining me now is Sachin Dave Dougal. He's Builder.ai's founder. Sachin, it's great to see you again. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. All the way from Dubai, as I understand it as well. Uh, they, 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 is this business related or yeah. just a little, little personal trip? Uh, you know, um, London's really cold right now, so the kids <laughs> wanted a bit of sun uh, and we can kill two birds at once. So a bit of work and a, and a, and a bit of vacation. I didn't know, they've got that Falcon, uh, you know, LLM that everyone's always talking about. And anyway, so uh, tell me a little bit about some of the prospects that you see. When you see this New York Times lawsuit, do you think to yourself that this could really stunt the growth and adoption of generative AI or, or no? I think it's, um, you know, when you think about language models, they, they need access to information. Um, and that's sort of a precursor because they need to assimilate like a pattern of thinking or a pattern of prediction um, so that they can at least sort of feel like they have general knowledge. Um, but I think it you know the the this particular lawsuit and others that are that are like this they're bringing up a really important point which is you know at what point is the knowledge a copy and at what point is that knowledge inferred you know if if you imagine um you saw a painting or you read a poem and you got inspired to write something new well are you infringing the original poet or the artist or are you being inspired to write from it now in human sort of terms, that's really well established. But when machines are doing this at this unprecedented scale, it sort of really leaves this sort of open point um, and a big gray area between straight copy and paste mm -hmm. um, and um, direct in, in sort of inference. Yeah, to me, it seems like it, it comes down to if the output is literally plagiarism, it's plagiarism. If the output is not, you know, and there's different layers uh, people will analyze on this, but that seems like one obvious place to take it. I thought you'd be interesting to talk to you about this as well, because a lot of what Builder.ai does is kind of give people a way of building apps without having to know coding or AI or whatever themselves. And often it'll say, OK, you can build an app like The New York Times. You can build an app like Facebook's. You can build an app like Amazon's. Is that sort of imitation, does that take any of their intellectual property in, in order to recreate the, you know, that look and feel of an app for something new? Well, so I think that's a really good point, right? And so number one, we don't replicate what someone else might be doing. We don't um, copy and paste. When, when people are trying to build software and they're not technical, um, in fact, when people are trying to do anything and they don't really have the subject matter of what they're trying to do, they often say, I want to build something like this. It doesn't mean you're doing a rinse and repeat and a replica of that particular piece. What you're doing is it's like a, it's almost like a vernacular that they're using as a reference point. Right. Then they will say, but I want it to do this. I wanted to add these features. I want it to be pink. I want it to look like, you know, with these buttons and these colors. And and that's where our idea of it's reusable features, not reusable applications, and it's very different. Um, so we don't really enter this world of plagiarism. We don't really enter this world of you're actually building a copy of X, Y, Z. What we're simply saying is help us describe what is in your mind that you're trying to build. And when most people describe that, they will describe it by using references of things that they already know exist. And, mm -hmm. and that becomes a stepping stone for how they think about the future.